This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I have a personal goal in discovery and it's this. I try and keep every document of my client away from any lawyer so that they get nothing out of discovery. He's engaged in a number of tactics that are not only harmful to him, but to our clients and ultimately our firm. This is stupid. I don't have a problem. This is just discovery. Let's have it. Did you bring me here? Justice huh? delayed is not your new car, Adam. It's justice denied. Jim, I, I don't I don't do anything. I, I object to everything. Hi, my name's Adam Abuser, and I'm an associate attorney with Hide It, Delay Em, and Object. I have a personal goal in discovery, and it's this. I try and keep every document of my client away from any lawyer so that they get nothing out of discovery. Let me give you a good example. Recently, I was hired by the Cinnabon Bakery to defend this totally bogus case by this guy named Jimmy Durante. Anyway, this guy said that he fell over a fire hydrant in front of one of uh, our bakery's uh, front storefronts. Now, he hired this jack leg plaintiff's lawyer named uh, uh, Victor Victorious. If you don't know Victor, look on the back of any phone book. He's been there for years. Anyway, Vic files this totally bogus case saying that his guy tripped over the fire hydrant because he was distracted by these smells coming away from the bakery blown in by their fans. <laughs> Can you believe that? If there was ever a case for Rule 11 sanctions, this is the case. Well, I'm telling you, uh, I will do anything, and I mean anything, to keep discovery away from this guy. <laughs> Frankly, I'm pretty proud of that. Hi. My name is Connie Confronter. I'm an attorney with the law firm of Hide It, Delay em, and Object. My good friend Adam and I have worked on a couple of cases together. Adam's a good lawyer, but recently he started engaging in some tactics that aren't good for him, his client, or our firm. Adam's learned from some other lawyers in our law firm, older lawyers that have engaged in this sort of conduct, that this is the way to conduct cases. Adam started to become a discovery abuser like some other lawyers. But it's time that Adam be held responsible for his conduct. On one big case we were working on that turned into a bigger case than it needed to be, Adam filed an objection and objected to a reasonable request for an organizational chart. It required the other side to file a motion to appeal. The case was delayed for more than a year, and Adam was ecstatic. Adam's my friend. He's a good guy and he's a good lawyer. He's just taken a wrong turn here. It's time for Adam to get an intervention. Hey, Adam. Edna. Hey. You know that Cinnabon's case you've been working on with me? Yeah. We had some discovery requests in from the plaintiff. I wanted to know if you could help me respond to them. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Great. Now, I know you've been here a long time, and I know you've done these things before, but I just want to remind you of the discovery policy here at Hydem, delay it, and object. Okay. Every response, you want to start off this way. Object on these grounds. Okay. Overly broad, ambiguous, vague, not reasonably calculated to lead to the discovery of admissible evidence, attorney-client privilege, and work product doctrine. Um, well, you know, I know the policy, but every request... Uh, Adam, I, I have every request. 
Well, but what about interrogatory number one? How is a request for every witness to the incident overbroad, vague, and ambiguous, Edna? Well, think about it, Adam. Has the plaintiff defined witness? I guess not. Well, then how are we supposed to know what they mean by witness? Well, but isn't that obvious? I mean, you don't think he wants us to identify all persons who saw the plaintiff fall. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't that make sense? Well, how am I supposed to know? Adam, you can never forget that discovery is a game. It's a game that we're not going to lose. Okay. The whole point of discovery is to keep the other side from learning the key facts of your case. You have to take every discovery request literally. If Jim Durante's attorney is too stupid to ask for a certain document or to ask for the right kind of information, then that's his problem. Take request for production number one, okay? They want Cinnabon's incident report related to Jim's fall. Yeah. Now you'll recall, Cinnabon's doesn't have incident reports. No, wait a minute. I, I thought they did. You, you remember that Black, Blackman case where the lady bit into the Cinnabon and um, came up with a little rat tail hang, hanging out of the, the bun. Um, the, we had incident reports in that case. Adam, that wasn't an incident report. That was a customer complaint report. Now, you can't take an incident report and say that that's akin to one of our customer or accident reports. That's absurd. Well, OK, but uh, how is an incident report not having something to do with, you know, the, uh, the client, attorney-client privilege. I, How do you know the store manager isn't an attorney? If she is, then it's an attorney-client communication. In any event, didn't an attorney prepare the form that the report's on? Well, I, yeah, I guess, but just because the form is drafted by an attorney doesn't mean that the information that the store manager put on it is, is privileged. If an attorney looked at or touched the document, it's attorney-client privileged. That's why we always tell our clients pass everything through the hands of an attorney. That way, it's close to attorney-client privilege. Hmm. I see. But, okay, even if the document's privileged and we refuse to produce it, we have to produce a log, a privilege log. Who told you that? That federal magistrate you clerked for in law school? Well, yeah, it's in Rule Rule 26. I mean, it clearly says that if we're objecting on, on basis of privilege, then we're obligated to give them a privilege log of all the documents. I don't know anything about that, but what I do know is that we do not prepare privilege logs. At least not unless they ask for one. Now, if they ask for one, we'll do it. But why would we want to go to all the work and effort to prepare a privilege log if we don't have to? Do you realize how hard that would be for you? We want to have an objection for every discovery request. Okay, no, I, I got it. Object to every discovery request. Um, you know, I'm not afraid to hide documents. You know, that's my reputation here. But this kind of takes things to a whole new level. 